everyone. Welcome to Higan Eruthil. So nice to see you guys. And uh, I guarantee you for the next <laughs> the next few days, I'm going to be doing consecutive videos daily. Lots of uploads for Higan Eruthil up until we have the launch on the 6th. And from there, I'll upload more videos for the game. Um, technically, I've had so much experience with the game that I have a lot of tips for you guys and probably um, some things to share with you in terms of tactics as we go along. So this is the FAQ. This was given three days ago. Not three days ago. So a day ago. Yesterday, I think, or the other day. So just want to be, you know, I just want to clarify all of these things um, as we go along through the FAQ. So number one, when will the game launch uh, globally? This will happen on April 6th again. You can pre-download now, as in today, April 4th. You can pre-download the game. For those who are playing globally, you'll have to play it on April 6th. Okay. But for those who played in the soft launch, um, we can actually download it today. Actually, it's more update the previous um, game. Update it, then play it starting today if you're in if you're in the soft launch which is vanguard server so those are two things um we will be ahead probably by two days in terms of how it looks in a video later you guys will see a preview of the game i'll be previewing the good stuff for you what to expect what does it look like what are the contents coming in and you can download it for global you can download the game for both uh, Google Play and the iOS or the Apple App Store. Okay, how do you log in the game? You can log in using a Google account, obviously your email or an Apple ID or registered email account. Okay, so guest login is not going to be available still for global. So re-rolling will be done with multiple accounts, especially for Google. So moving on to your next question. Okay, so what are the, de the devices, um, the device requirements for running Higan Eruthil? So the device requirements for Android at least, it's going to be version 7 and above. At least 2 gives a RAM, which I think most of you guys have 4. So this is going to be coming in. So these are the processors, but the recommended requirements for a smooth gameplay is going to be 8 gigs of RAM. It's definitely heavy, but again, the minimum requirements should be okay. Probably I'm looking at 4 or 6 gigs of RAM would be good. And for Apple, so you have um, these, these iPhones here and iPad here, iPad mini, blah, blah, blah. Recommended requirements, iPad mini 6, the recent one and you're good to go and also at least a storage space of at least four gigs so that is how big the game is your minimum requirements and your recommended requirements so that you won't be confused on if your device is compatible or not which ser which server should you choose so north america server time will be in gmt minus eight apac server will be gmt plus eight to get a better experience again you should be near the server where you're located at uh so that um you will you know you won't get disconnected or um connection would be okay players on android and ios uh, device can experience this, the game in the same server if you have friends in the same server they can use apple they could use android not a problem what language does the game support right now so this is number six Take note that it supports English and Chinese as in-game text. Okay, two languages. But but the character voices will be in English or Japanese if you prefer so. Okay, you can switch the language and in-game text and character voice in the settings of the game. Next up, this will pertain to the rebate. So, so far... Um, if you have topped up, this pertains only to Vanguard server for those who have. Um, I think there was a part of the second CVT that uh, that gave out a rebate 
also for the, the soft launch. See, I topped off both on uh, limited beta and soft launch. How does the rebate work in official launch? So there are computations here. Just go through this, guys. Um, again, you can also contact their official Discord and file a ticket just in case you have a problem. So all of your questions are here, should, should, should be answered here. But again, if you still have a problem, you could contact this bot. So Eferia 5390. So okay, what's next for Vanguard server? So now I'm in Vanguard server. Um, I'll be playing in Vanguard server plus a new account. Um, take note that recently my Vanguard server is no longer free to play. I purchased the 50 cents, uh, 50 centavos US dollar package with Fen. So that's the only purchase, by the way, that it has. But before it was a free to play account. Just wanna be transparent with you guys because that account, more or less, I will be playing more. But I'll be creating a newer account. Okay, a newer account uh, for new players as well. So that I could play with you guys and probably be on the same server as you. And uh, that account will be definitely be free to play. So those are my plans. But um, let's go through this. So what's next for Vanguard server? Do I have to update the game, uh, the game when it launches officially? Can new players enter Vanguard server still? Okay, so I already update my, updated mine. I'm actually playing it and playing the Vanguard server I updated this morning and I played it. So uh, this, uh, let's just go through the questions, the answer here. There will be a special maintenance for Vanguard server on April 4th, which players will be redirected to the stores and downloading the official launch version to resume the journey in Vanguard server. So if we're in Vanguard, we can resume our journey there. It will be parallel to the new servers that are going to be out during global. Servers are than Vanguard server will remain in maintenance until the game launches officially, definitely on uh, April 6th. So we'll be, I, I, I could play the game and probably test out a little bit of extra uh, for two days. For stability concern, registration for Vanguard server will tempor temporarily close after April 4 maintenance. Okay, so uh, up until April 12th. So to answer if you can still enter Vanguard server, it will be closed from 4 to 12. But after, the, after April 12th, you can actually join Vanguard server. But... Take note, if you have played in a new server, when you divert to Vanguard server, you'll start again from the start. So is it worth you know shifting to Vanguard? I don't know. Probably no, because again, most of the players in Vanguard are already advanced. And I think it would be better if um, the new players chose the new server so that every, everybody will be in the same pace as you know all of the new players. Okay. So does the plan for Vanguard server stay the same with other servers? The content and event in Vanguard server will stay the same and that in the official launch servers. You may experience the same content and event in Vanguard server when the game launches officially. Some events that are related to the account creation will not be open again. Okay, so the first event definitely is the Phoenix event with Fen. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to have that. So it's okay with me. It's not. It's no. It's not a not a big deal. Um, probably the next big event we could go together with the new server. But again, um, I'm not hoping for that uh, Phoenix event to be available for Vanguard server. It's okay. Um, but again, the um, some events related to account creation will not be open again. So if uh, it's going to be the free SSR. Yeah, I think free SSR. There's an event there for free. Uh, there's a banner there for free SSR. I don't think will, it will be open to Vanguard anymore. So it will be for the new player. So beside the concerns listed above, we have increased the amount of rewards, including free wishes for characters in place. Please find them out in the game. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us on our official social media. And uh, hope you guys are, you know, happy about so far i'm very happy i've seen the game 
I've seen the gameplay, I've seen the updates, I've seen the new interface. There's a small update in the interface. I'll discuss that in the next video after this one. So, um, hope to see you there, guys. And uh, more or less, these are your FAQs. So, hopefully, if you have more questions, you could probably ask the bot in the, over at Discord server, or probably you can show, uh, you can put down your comments. I may answer them if I know the, any information. But again, guys, please stay safe. Take care. This is the warden, and I'm out of here.